Okay, I'm gonna try to do the corkscrew curl curls that I do a lot. Um, usually what I do is I'll do something up front, um, but you can do whatever, you know, you can do them in a ponytail or whatever, but I just put her hair in three little ponies and keep it out of her face. And what you wanna do, is of course you wanna start with dry hair, but I like to section it off. If, you know, if your daughter doesn't have really thick hair, then you don't you really need to do this, but if they do, then you can section it off. Just depending on how thick of hair they have. Okay, so get nice and combed out. And then I like to spray it just a little bit so it will hold. And then comb it out again. And just section it off to fairly small pieces. Again, it's going to depend on how big you want the curls and how um, big your curling iron is. For these, my favorite is this half inch curling iron. And I found they work best, but that's because my daughters don't have a lot of curl in their hair naturally. And so that's what I like to use. So what I do is you open up your curling iron and you wrap the hair starting close to the head and you just wrap it around the barrel. And as you do it, your hair is going to get, the hair will twist and that's okay. That actually adds to the curl. And then once you get down to the end, I just hold it. You can close this occasionally if you want, but I don't like it because I don't like the dent it leaves. And you just have to hold it for however long um, it will take. If the curl isn't, or if they don't have a lot of curl in their hair, you might have to hold it longer. And if they do, you don't have to hold it as long. I usually do it to about a count of 20. And then you just kind of drop it out and let it fall by itself. I usually just let them fall um, and not try and comb out with my fingers or anything. They'll get looser with time and they need to cool, especially before you try and um, work with them or kind of comb them out or anything. It's important to let them cool so you don't pull the curl out. This is also the way um, a lot of people get the big waves. They use the big, big curling irons, like the one inch, which you can do too. This gives the same exact effect. I just like it a little bit tighter on my girl's hair so it lasts throughout the day a little bit better. through the bottom layer. Let's do one more over here. Oops. That happens a lot. You gotta be really careful. It's really easy to burn yourself while doing this, but which I do a lot. But you get better at it. Okay, so I've got almost all of her hair curled now. Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. And then I'll show you what it looks like after I kind of comb it out a little bit. Her last curl. So, 
So it looks like when it's all done, when I just um, pour a little bit with hairspray and let it cool for a little bit. Okay, now that her curls have cooled down, I just am kind of going through and just separating them a little bit, try not to pull them out. Really, I like it all PC because her hair will just um, get looser through the day and it just um, looks nice. So I just tend to leave hers. But turn to the front. And you can curl these little baby hairs by her face and turn to the back. And that's the corkscrew curl. The part about the curls is how they bounce when she runs away. Go! <laughs>